Hello there guys, it's Wiley here and today you join me for um, a haul video and an unboxing. I was going to do two separate videos but I thought, you know what, I can't be bothered. Um, I will be doing a gaming video after this on the PS4, um, so look out for that. Um, so yeah, so I'll just jump in. Basically, I went into Bromsgrove yesterday, I had to go to the uh, college um, to basically uh, see what was happening with my son, um, you know, to make sure everything was okay. Things are doing okay, um, he's going to have to look for an apprenticeship, but you know, it went okay, which is really cool. Anyway, we thought we'd go into Bromsgrove and have a bit of breakfast, so we went in and had a wander and found this toy shop. The toy shop was called Hoity Toity. Now, I'd never seen it before, and it looked tiny, so I thought, I'll just go in and have a look. There must really be nothing in there. So, we went in, <clears throat> and it was quite a small shop, and had all, like, cuddly toys and what have you. Anyway, I saw, like, a little entrance out the back, so we went up to the back, um, and there was another room, and they had all, like, dolls and you know, girly toys and what have you. And then I noticed at the back of the shop again, there was another, like, little step thing. Went up the step, and that's where all the goodies were. So we found, um, they did the Batman versus Superman figures, they uh, they do the um, Turtles figures, they do um, Spider-Man, um, quite a few different figures. Anyway, I've, oh, I've been after... Sorry. Since I got um, Raphael Sting, the WWE Turtle, I've been trying to get hold of the other three Turtles. And on eBay, they're going for like ridiculous money. It's like 35 quid each. Um, I'm not paying that, that's ridiculous. So, I sat there on the, uh, on the shelf were the three Turtles that I needed. Now that, if you're a, a collector, that, that's a sign, you know, the chances of that happening are pretty, really, pretty rare. So that's a sign from above that you need to get that shit. As you can imagine, my wife wasn't exactly impressed. Now, if you've got a wife or a partner and you're a collector, you'll know exactly what look you were given. Now, I'd already said that I wasn't going to buy anything else this month. Now, again, being a collector, you know that you should never say never. Because there's always, around the corner, something with your name on it. And remember, it's never want, it's always, I need to have that shit. So anyway, I got the look, and I said, look, you know, I really need to get them. There's the chances of these being at this price, and together, you know, I need to get it. Reluctantly, she, she agreed. I mean, because my, my wife's amazing. So anyway... I'll show, you what I, I'll show you what I got. So basically, we got uh, Michelangelo as the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. How are you doing, brother? That's a really... I mean, that's a, such a cool figure. I will take him out of the package in a minute and show you him properly. But that is a really cool figure. I mean, it's such so, so cool. So we'll take him out and I'll show you what he looks like out of the box. Because he is going to be out of the box. Yes, I know. I know you you in the box collectors, you know, you're going to be, you know, I'm not going to be very happy, but these look better out of the box. So let's get him out and I'll show you. The really cool, th another really cool thing about this uh, toy shop that I found is, uh, you know, I, I, I went, I was like, oh, you know, he made a very old man uh, very happy. And she was like, "Oh, you, you, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna sell them on." And I was like, "Oh no, God, no! I'm a, I'm a collector, you know. I ain't gonna sell them on." <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, I said, "You know, I collect different figures and what have you." And uh, she said, "Oh," she said, uh, "Well, let me know what figures. Let me know what because I gotta do. I got, you know, I can get access to um, different manufacturers and what have you. So let me know what figures, and I might be able to pick them up for you." And I was like, "Ooh." So I told her that about the NECA figures and the uh, Mezco figures, and she was like, leave it with me. So next time I go over to Brahms Grove, which I'll try and get over there in a couple of weeks, 
because I'm definitely not allowed to buy anything now. Yeah, right. Um, and see what she's got. So here we go. It's him out of the box. I put his glasses on as well. It's such a such a cool figure. There you go. Such a such an amazing figure. I mean, the detail on him is amazing. I love the fact. I love the fact they've done this. You know, it's 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 so so much fun. You know, and uh, you know. Oh shit! Sorry, Wiley. That's right, Wiley sat down here. Um, you know, and I mean, got the hair and everything. You know, what I mean, this is so cool. So that's Mikey as the Macho Man, Randy Randy Savage. He's got some accessories. Wiley, lie down. Right. Oh, okay. He's got some accessories which I'm not going to get out. He's got a bin. Um, and what you call it. So he's got a few accessories. They can stay in there because. You know, he doesn't really need to hold them. It's not like Raph where he's got the baseball bat. You know. So that's my key. And then we've got... Leo as John Cena. You can't see me. So let's get him out of the package as well and show you what Leo looks like. Now, as you know, as you guys know, I'm not a big Leo fan. I think he's uh, a bit stuck up. In my eyes, he's not the leader. I know there's going to be, you know, people are going to be, you know... Oh, but he's awesome. No, he's not. For me, the leader is Raph. Raphael's a better leader. You know, yes, okay, he's a bit of a hothead, but he gets shit done. Oh... Leonardo is too, you know, goody-goody and, you know, I'm not a big fan. I, to be honest, the thing is, I've never been a fan of Leon, you know, never. I mean, the fact that he's John Cena is cool because the weird, the messed up thing is, is that I'm a big John Cena fan. Yes, I know, I know. I know the wrestling's fake, I know that, I'm not stupid, you know, but I like John Cena. I'm hopefully going to get some hate for that, but I don't care. I like John Cena. John Cena's a, you know, yes, okay, he's not the best wrestler in the world. But, you know, he's entertaining as hell. And, you know, I, I, I like the guy. Um, you know, I would love him to do a heel turn. I mean, that's been on the, you know, I've been, <coughs> I've been begging for that for years. It's never going to happen. I wish it would, but it's never going to happen because of his uh, charity work, which is a shame. But, uh, so yeah, I, I like Cena. And, and and the fact that Leo is Cena, you know, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not a big Leo fan. To be honest, I don't think that, 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 that I don't know many people who are fans of Leo. I mean, one of my, one of my best, one of my other friends, um, Rich, he, he's a Leo fan. Um, but I don't know any, to any, to any other people that are Leo fans, to be honest. I mean, let me know below, you know, let me know in the comments below, you know, who your favourite turtle is. I mean, you know, a lot of people love Mikey because of his, uh, you know, his um, fun loving and what have you, which, you know, that's really cool. I like Mikey. And I like Donnie as well. You know, Donnie's cool. Donnie's the, the geek, which is cool, which, you know, let's face it, we're all geeks. Um, this comes with some accessories as well. This one comes with a belt, which is really cool. It comes with the uh, United States champion, champion. So I'm going to stick that on him. If I can put it around his waist, because let's face it, he's got a blue turtle. Uh, turtle. He's got a turtle. He's got a turtle, apparently. He's got a shell. We should be able to clip that in there. There we go. Come on. Come on. really really annoying sorry about this guys I'm trying to get it you know there oh he was dropping his bloody thing put it on instead there 
So there we go. There's uh, Leo as Cena, John Cena, with his belt. Even though I'm not a big Cena, and even though I'm not a big Leo fan, it's cool that he's, uh, you know, Cena. I would have preferred it if he'd have been one of the older school wrestlers, you know. Um, I'm trying to think who he could have been in the old school. Um, I can understand why he's seen him because let's face it, seen seen the street straight laced and everything like that, you know. No, um, goody goody. I don't think who he could have been. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below who you think that he could have been. Who he would have, which <coughs> iconic wrestler? I mean, I know Cena's an iconic wrestler. He's, you know, he's he's, he's but uh, which like old school wrestler would you think? Um, Leo could have been. And then we've got, last but not least, we have Donny as The Undertaker. Now, this 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 one, I as much as I love Raph, you know, and I love Sting, this, for me, is my favourite figure. Um, you know, because I like Don, I do like Donny. I really do. Um, but I love The Undertaker. I love, 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 love The Undertaker. He is amazing he's been going for so long um you know i actually saw him live uh, a few years ago it was a long time ago and when he came down to the ring and you know, the other the purple haze and everything like that came down oh, oh my god it was it was literally amazing um you know the hairs on the back of my neck stuck up um and it was just uh it was amazing it's just this, this this figure is just so cool there we go we got donny as the undertaker that is a badass figure and he's also got a belt let me just uh sort his feet out so he stands he's all he also has got a belt so i'll get the belt out See if I can stick that around his waist as well. I don't know whether I'll be able to because obviously he's wearing a jacket, but we'll have a go. Um, yeah, Undertaker for me is one of my all-time favourites because you know he he's a, well, he's amazing. You know he really is. Um, some of the rivalries had over the years, you know, have been amazing. Um, you know his rivalry with um, his rivalry with mankind was just phenomenal. You know, some of the matches that they had in the in their career was just absolutely amazing. You know, they had the um, you know they had boiler room brawls. They had the infamous um, Hell in a Cell match where Mick got chucked off the top by Taker, um, which was you know iconic. Um, you know, he's had the longest streak. You know, at WrestleMania, which got beaten by. Um, Lesnar, which I wasn't much of a fan about. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Lesnar. But I don't think that Lesnar should have been should have been the one, to be honest. I really don't. I think it would have been better being uh, someone else. You know, um, Bray Wyatt would have been a good call. Um, Punk would have been a brilliant one. You know, um, at the end of the day, in my opinion, um, Lesnar didn't need it. You know, he Lesnar's already, you know, um, solidified himself. You know, so he didn't really need that. Didn't need the streak. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, there's an interesting, there's a really good video. Um, uh, with um. Paul Heyman, and um, he did a tour of England. I wish he, I wish I'd have known. Um, I don't know whether he did Birmingham or not, but I wish if he had it done, I would. I would have definitely gone and seen him. And one of the somebody I can't do that. Somebody in the crowd actually said, "You know, was it planned? Was it planned um, for?" you know, Brock to, uh, you know, take the streak. And uh, Paul Heyman being Paul Heyman, 
he basically said that, you know, at the end of the day, no one's going to tell Brock what to do. And, you know, if Brock, he's not, he said, I'm not saying this is true or anything, but if Brock, you know, go, once goes out there and he's, sat, he's in the ring and, and, you know, nobody can get anywhere near him because he's in the ring and he's, you know, it's all going on. Why, you know, why wouldn't, you know, he, he could have, he could have thought, hang on a minute, you know, I could, I could do something here. I could make something big. He said, at the end of the day, what they're going to do to me, they're not going to fire me, you know, because I'm a big star. He said, at the end of the day, um, the only person, the only person that really knows that is Brock. Um, personally, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Brock just said, bugger it, I'm doing it. That's the kind of person that he is. He's not exactly a very likable person. You know, he does, he's, he's said in many, 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 uh, interviews that he doesn't like people. You know, he's, um, he says, you know, I live in a, I live in the middle of nowhere with a, you know, 40 foot fence around my house. He said, so, you know. I don't like people, which is, you know, okay, this is prerogative. <clears throat> but it's like you said, you know, if 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 he if if he was to if he was to take the streak, if he was to beat Undertaker at WrestleMania, what could they do? Really? So it it it's it, very interesting, very very interesting. I mean, if it were if you want to watch the video, um, I'm not going to be searching for it because it took me ages. If you just Google, well, if you just go on YouTube and look for Paul Heyman, um, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it. So anyway, that's 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 my turtle haul that I picked up. Um, and also, now I've been meaning to do this for the last couple of days, um, but I keep forgetting because I've got a head like a sieve. I also picked up, last week I think it was, um, Lunar Crypt, where they do a thing on Friday where basically you order, you order pins and you get a free pin. Well... I missed out on that um, and I was talking to the guy who runs it he's in the uh, pin group that I'm in uh, horror pin group which is cool um, I'll leave a link to that below if you're, if you're into horror pins come and join us it's a really cool group we've got people who love pins there's people who actually makes the pins as well in there which is cool they're always doing give, uh, giveaways and money off and whatever you free shipping and stuff like that so he basically he said well don't worry so I'll chuck a free one in for you anyway I was like oh thank you very much so I'll show you the free one first. So I'm getting out the packaging because of the glare. Um, I've already got you just seen in my in an older video. I've already got one of these, one of these, but this is the another one for the set. <coughs> We've got the Demi Gorgon ball. I mean, it's a really cool pin. Double pin back. Really nice. Really nice detail on it. Really like that pin. So we got that was that was my free one, and then I these are the ones I ordered. These these were on sale for five dollars each. Are you okay? Bless you, bless you. You all right? Oh, Wiley just had a. It looked like he was on a fit. He's eating his dinner too quick and sneezed and coughed and. Yeah, he looks like it's okay. So yeah, so sorry, I digress. Um, so yeah, these were basically five five dollars each, and, and I had to get them. So we've got the um, the my pal monster pin, which is really cool. I think that's the um, swamp thing, or something like that, or maybe it could be the creature of the black lagoon. One of them. Double pin back again, really cool detail. Uh, and then we've got. We got this one. We got my pal monster, and it's Frankie Frankenstein. Again, a really another another cool another. Oh my god, sake. There we go. Really another cool pin. Again, another double double pin back. And last, but by no means least, we have. <clears throat> I get into the bloody thing. 
we have the Wolfman, my pal monster. So for five dollars each, I had to get them. They're, I mean, they're really cool. That's a double pin back as well. So there we go. So that was my haul and my pin pickup. <clears throat> now, what I was gonna do, I was gonna do my unboxing as well, but this video has gone on a little bit longer than what I was hoping. So I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the unboxing on this video. I'll do a separate video for that because, you know, I don't want you guys being bored. So I'm going to say bye-bye for now. Um, drop a like on this video if you liked it. Again, let me know in the comments who your favourite turtle is. And again, who you would think that, you know, Leo could have played. Who they could have had him as, as one of the iconic, you know, one of the old school um, wrestlers. Um... Let me know what you thought of the pins as well. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. You know, check out my other <clears throat> my other videos. <clears throat> like I said, I do unboxings, I do haul videos, I do gaming, I do uh, reviews, movie reviews, or well, indie movie reviews. Um, there might be something on there that you like, so just just you know check it out, subscribe. Um, wait, if you are subscribed to me, make sure you check that you've um, hit the um, bell so that you know when the next video is coming and drop me a comment down below i always like to i always you know reply to comments um and i will catch you all on the flip side wiley out love you guys